What's up guys and welcome to Web Education's Daily Tech Tips. In today's tech tip, you're learning how to password protect folders on your Mac. Now, before we get started, I just want to say there's really no easy way to do it. But in this tutorial, I'll show you how to do it in the simplest way possible. And I'll try to make this tutorial as easy to understand and easy to follow as possible. So just to give you an overview, to password protect a folder on your Mac, you first of all have to convert it to a DMG file, which means an image file. And then you can have that image file encrypted and protected with a password. And now you can use that as your password protected folder. That's basically what you're going to try and do here. So the first thing you need to do is get your folder ready. And this is a folder that has all the files that you want to password protect. So with your folder ready, I've called mine secret stuff, just for reference. So the first thing you need to do is open Disk Utility. Now you can open Disk Utility from the Finder or you can use Spotlight, which is a shortcut, and just type in Disk Utility. And double click on that to open Disk Utility. Now with Disk Utility open, the menu at the top changes to the Disk Utility menu. And then you wanna go ahead and click on File, and then click on New Image, and select Image from Folder basically meaning that you're trying to convert a folder into an image file. So click on that, because that's exactly what you're trying to do. And from this window, select the folder you want to password protect. So mine is secret stuff, like I'd mentioned. So select it and click on choose. And from here, you can now choose to either rename the image file or leave it the way it is. I'll leave mine as secret stuff and then choose where you want to save it. I'll save mine on the desktop just to keep things simple. And then here is where you choose the encryption you want. Now from this drop down arrow, you can choose either 128 bit or 256 bit as your encryption. 128 is usually enough. And as soon as you select, you're going to be prompted to enter the password for your DMG file or for your image file. So enter your password. And then re-enter it again just to verify. And then click on choose. And that will be the password to open your DMG file or your password protected folder. Now, right here, before you click on save, go to image format and choose how you want your image file created. Now you can choose read only, but only if you don't intend to add or remove files from that folder in future. But if you intend to have a password protected folder that you can add and remove files anytime you want, choose the read stroke write option. So make sure you choose that and then click on save and then give disk utility time to create your image file. And when it's done, it's gonna say operation successful and click on done and it should see an image file on your desktop or wherever it is that you chose to save your image file. Now at this point, you can close disk utility and now you'll remain with the folder you intended to password protect and the image file. Now you can safely delete this folder and remain with the password protected DMG file of this folder. Now, before you delete it, make sure you save a backup of it, either in Google Drive or Dropbox, or wherever it is that you backup your files off this computer. But as soon as you backup, you can delete that file and remove it from the recycle bin. Now, what you're remaining with is your image file, your password protected folder that's now an image file. So now, how do you access this password protected folder that's in the form of an image file? So what you need to do is double click on that image file and it's going to ask you for a password, the password you gave when you were creating it. So enter that password. And then click OK. And it's going to mount the image file like it will mount a USB stick or something. So now you can double click on that and access the files and folders. And remember, we chose the read stroke write option, which means you can remove files from that folder and copy files back into that folder anytime we want. And once you're done, simply close and then right click on this and eject and that will be it. So it's gonna remain safe and sound. Until the next time you want to access that folder, double click on it again and it's gonna ask for your password every single time. So that's how to password protect folders on your Mac. There's no easier way, I swear. Anyway, I hope that tutorial was useful. Thanks for watching. You can leave your comments and questions down in the comment section below. Don't forget to share and subscribe for more tips. Until the next one, my name is Chris, and I'll talk to you guys soon.